Except when Danny decided to mess around with me. Society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, yeah. they blame yeah. the beasts, yeah. heaven, yeah. or hell. May versus Bridget. Duel one. Let's rock. <laughs> Clean jump in. Oh, 3k off the mark. <clears throat> this is really the, the case. Like, if Squirmy's able to get in, Animate's gonna have a very, very hard time defending unless he gets a really good DP. But as we can see, May off a hit, especially on Bridget, chunks and chunks and chunks of damage. That much I can tell you. But, on the bright side, Bridget off a knockdown, if Mei does not have enough meter for super, not really a whole lot she can do on defense. I'm seeing a lot of, a lot of 2P challenges, okay. Wow, crazy, I actually stole the corner from her. Look at the damage. Is Bridget low health? Yes, he is. All right, game one. Going to Squirmy. Oh, it hurts. Uh, Bridget is uh, 1.06 defense. So, no. Yeah. He takes more damage. You think you played me? Yeah, you told me you played me. Mankind. Dual one. <laughs> When's the last time you played Strive, though, Ivan? So Animus is getting the challenges, but not converting it into those knockdown situations that we need to be seeing from from Bridget. Kim. Oh wow! Last bit of active frames actually made contact there. Two S media. And that could be death. Yep. Dolphins. Dual two. Let's I forgot about that giveaway. <laughs> Ivan, <laughs> bringing up bad memories for Patrick, bro. He's like, of course you want to give away. <laughs> Look at him. Look how mad Patrick is. <laughs> mm. Barely off the mark with the DP. Unfortunately, that is your death. Squirmy. Rolling right now. First tournament, but composure seems pretty good, all things considered. Pretty impressive. Usually you see people much shakier in their first tournament, especially on stream, but playing pretty solid at the moment, Squirmy is. Good to see if Animus can turn things around. Like I said before, need to need to convert some of these situations into these knockdowns. Getting the 2P challenge, you know, stopping the pressure is nice and all, but if you're not turning it into some big advantage for you, really hard to win games, especially when you're up against a damage monster like me. Okay. Oh. First baited. You might die? Not quite. Not quite. Okay. Low profile. Okay. Nice. Counter poke. Gets the burst away. Oh, but eats the ball. The beach ball. Wasn't ready for the beach ball. Okay, a little bit too far away. Nice. That's the challenge. Oh, jump in. Overhead kiss. 
Doesn't get the super through the wall though. It's already committed to the combo. Wasn't ready for the wall to splat. And that's just gonna be it. A 3-0 for Squirmy. Stage. I mean, there's not that much going on on this one. Right? Did Rain join today? He's not in the ladder at the moment. Tixie didn't wake him up, bro. <laughs> I blame Tixa. Okay. Oh my god. Stopped him in his tracks. Wow, that still hit him? Wow. I thought he was going to get over top. You actually know. <laughs> I appreciate you, you telling me. Oof. Big damage. Wow, he actually got the flick off in time. Okay. This is close in this first round. Mmm. Alright, Dean Goobis gets the first round. That was close. Make sure all of you are claiming your Macharino codes, alright? All of you. Yeah, he, there's a lot of screen economy, <laughs> economy being taken up by the characters right now. <laughs> Not a whole lot of standing room. <laughs> mm. Wow, hero burst from, from James McGill. Believes he can win this round. Wow, just max him out of Heavenly. Okay, bust out. I don't think that reaches. It does not. Game one. Going to Diegubis. <laughs> huh? What was that about? <laughs> Thank you for the follow. -up. <laughs> what was that? A reminder, guys, that you can join up in this tournament Man, even while it's going on, cannot. as long as you are um <clears throat> wired up with Six. Ethernet. And it's somewhere close to NA. Alright. Jesus. The man is getting harassed by Garuda Impact. Oh, this clashes, right? Oh no, it just gets through. Okay. Side head. Oh, this meaty close slash. Slide the head door. Oh, charge dust. Hate to see it. Big damage. Try to do it again? Bro, that's toxic. Okay, doesn't get the combo he's looking for. Airs off the machine gun. Has burst, but might not ever get to use it. Wow, punish! That's a punish? That's the. I didn't think that was gonna be a punish, but it was. Alright. Doesn't look like Diagubis has slowed down in his year away from Let's Rock. <laughs> Still looking as clean as ever. Okay, just backs up, airs off the mini gun immediately. Okay. 
Hey, Greasy with a 32 win. New gem win. Uh, uh, your next badge is at three years, so four months from now. Thank you for the Twitch Prime, brother. Appreciate you. Wow. What a punish. Wow. Yeah, once you hit, uh, I think once you, I think it's once you hit a year sub. Once you hit a year sub, you get a new badge every six months after that. Oh, nice 5P. That was really good. No Garuda impact. Yeah, he's swinging. He's swinging. Has meter for potential bust out. Oh no. Never will get the chance. Potemkin Buster. On stream at least. Bad man. <laughs> Bro, she is so she is going through it, man. Like Delilah is really going through it, like trying to keep up with this sentient ass bed, man. <laughs> oh boy. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> throw what's the setup look like okay challenge plus frames plus frames this time he presses after the one actually gets a hit here's the question and I, I i think i know the answer already so i assume people have modded delilah herself as well not only does bedman Probably have random ass characters walking back and forth while this bed is on the screen. Wait, is this gonna hit? No. It's it, it, <laughs> long gone. <laughs> Can you hit her? No. You can't. She's not hittable. You cannot punch the young lady. It is not allowed. All right, game two. Yeah, I know, um, in terms of like high level players, I think Flash is like actually learning this character. Like, like seriously learning, which will be cool to see. Pokemon trainer, I could see that, yeah. I feel so sorry for her. Like, what are you even supposed to do in a situation like this? What is that? <laughs> what are you supposed to do in a situation like this, bro? <laughs> You're just out here in the war zone. <laughs> it's insane. Dual two. Let's rock. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. How did she follow after a wall break? Good question. They don't show her flying through the air, does she? Do they? I don't think so. Got him. Okay. Very clean. Actually, Fluff Sickle, Fluff Sickle definitely seems to have labbed out a decent amount of the, the flow chart with Bedman. I'm definitely seeing some consistent set play going on, which is pretty cool to see.
For those of you who don't know, Bedman is a little bit different in this game. Uh, pretty much a time-based character instead of uh, a, a positioning-based character. So the old Bedman used to set special moves at certain places on the screen and then activate them at, uh, at later times for use. In this game, <clears throat> he enters an error state and after a certain amount of time has gone off, the error, like, explosion will go off. <clears throat> so it's all about setting up that situation. It's like a pseudo install, almost. <clears throat> Bot is scary, especially when, you know... <laughs> when it's a good one, it's very scary. Dual two. Let's rock. Mm -mm. Very, very difficult. Oof. Okay. Nice. FD pushed out, but not far enough. Okay. Are we doing Kari Garuda as well to stay in? Okay. Takes the knockdown. Wow. Armors through HDL. Huge corner carry. This situation. Oh, this sucks. And your burst is gone. How are you going to get away? Okay. Multi hit Psycho Crusher. Damn, this walks forward on him. Gives a few steps, make her uncomfortable, gets the close slash and the round. Hmm. Hmm. The second time we've seen Diegova's shard just on that death, it is with a perfect game one. Sheesh. We got 11 free Macharino codes left, ladies and gentlemen. If you're out there and you have not claimed your codes, I would very much appreciate you heading over and claiming those codes with a click of a button. It is that simple, ladies and gentlemen. Free money. Hmm. Are you gonna get out? I mean, he's FDing as you should, but quick RC to stay in with. Okay, gets under. Party time. Good blocks from Diegubas, though. His defense is holding up against the Eno pressure. Okay, catches there with the flick. It's a Gigantor Kai. Yeah, that's mix. And it combos because of the Gigantor Kai. Okay, finally we get to see some of that that Eno Vortex going, but still not a whole lot of damage done at the end of it. And did lose some pressure here. Nope, that armor is giving a lot of issues right now. Okay, catches him with HCL again. That's an interesting, I don't know if that's a, a real frame trap or what the frame data is on it, but we've seen him go to that quite a lot so far. Runs into the gigantic Kai. Look at the damage. Oh, but the, the heavenly doesn't connect. That would have been clip worthy. That would have been clip worthy. Mm. Game two going to Diego Miss.
Man. Duel one. Let's rock. Okay. Oh, but that's not a punish. Uh oh. Getting harassed with Garuda impact right now. Yeah, and now he's really close. Very hard. Okay, gets out. Forces the burst. All right. Now where do we go from here? Kid Dracula has to put something together. Note comes out. Gets the overhead. All right. Into another mix. What a sick IB from Diegubas and the. Oh my God. He did IB. It's a backward Mega Fist that forced the situation and then got the Pop Buster reset on the combo. He is rolling right now. Okay, trade. Trading with Potemkin, not really what you want to be doing. It's Eno. Oh my lord. Heat Knuckle comes out. Has a bar as well. This is scary. Two bars on Kid Dracula's side, though. He can force the situation. And no combo there on the off the stroke. Okay, wire C, I want to turn. Coming up on a barrier for Diegubas. He might spend. Okay, keeps him with Garuda. No comes out night. This is scary stuff. Scary stuff where you could just die at any moment if your Eno Gold Burst comes out from Diegubas. Giganter! What's it gonna be? Mega Fist again. He wants something. What is it gonna be? Oh my god, bro. Sheesh. It just doesn't end. Duel one. Let's rock. Not seeing rest yet today, but we, first Ram we're seeing up on stream. Oh, nice 5P check. Like that. Wato's eyes are open. Okay, it's a bite. And I always say anytime that Nago gets a bite in a round, so hard to win. So incredibly difficult. Mm -hmm. Death. It's already hard enough to beat Nago, but if he gets that bite off, brother, good luck. Trying to stay. We've already seen Guato pop a few times today, though, and this is one of those times. Taking all this damage, you're just dead. PRC forward. Yes. Round. So Guato definitely going to have to be way more mindful of his blood meter. Ram definitely has more than enough tools to extend the combos long enough to make those essentially touch of death. Okay, to the RC just in case. Watson well, still working with burst. It's not over yet. Okay, tried to challenge, but sword explosion. Making things kind of tough. Oh! Unfortunate trade. And rest will take game number one. No problem, bro. Trying to make sure everyone has a good tournament experience. That's what I'm here for. Okay, back throw incident. This could be tough. Nobody likes being back thrown, and nobody likes being back thrown by Nagori Yuki. I can tell you that. Okay. Nice tech. 
Oh, he pops though. Once again, not paying attention to that blood meter. See, blood meter is not one of those things that if you ignore it, it'll go away. You always got to be paying attention and managing if you're a Nago player. And that's one of the things that some of the top Nagos are so good at. Hotashi, Nubenheimer. So good at managing that, that, that blood meter. When to use the specials, when not to. Trying to maintain that, that level 2 blood so your normals are at their strongest. You know, the higher the blood is, the more footsies you have to play. Through the wall you go. Duel three. Let's rock. A little bit of an answer back from Guato. Both are going to get burst this round. Okay, a bite. Remember what I said about bite. Yep, he's in. Pretty high blood meter off of that, though. Not yet level two, but getting there. Going for a mix up. Rest. Trying to force the issue. Does not have RC though, but off the trade again. Very rarely do you see characters trade with Nagori Yuki and live to tell the tale, but that's the second time this set that we've seen Resh trade and have been in his favor. Has a bar as well. This is tough for Guato. He has to defend. Rekka, is it enough? Wall splat, it is. More to Tabato. Game two to rest up 2-0. To the match. Swing it for the fence a little bit. Trying to just occupy some space. Trying to place them uh, jump trajectory mix ups with the JD. Wow, that was. What the? What just happened? That was really weird. Are you gonna press? Oh my god, that's plus. You don't wanna press there? What's it gonna be? Are you gonna burst? Are you gonna hold it? Comes down with J8, the classic. The Ram classic. It's not a combo. Yeah, I was like, that didn't look like it was a combo, but. It all, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> kind of weird. Did he tech into the beam? Like, I don't <laughs> This is weird. Oof. Man, just been throwing that out. And it's been working out as well. And that's going to be it. Rest with a 3-0. And that's going to put him in a pretty good spot on the ladder as well. We'll see if Rest qualifies for top four, but he's looking bad man versus Melia. Duel one. Let's rock. Counter. Counter. Okay. Party time. Nice air to air. Controlling space pretty well so far, just pressure. Trying to keep Millia locked down so she can't get her own mix off, but she eventually does. Oh, close flash anti air. The stuff of dreams if you're a Millia player. Mix up. Gets it. It's not dead yet, though. That was Bedman's health, actually. I need to look that up. It's gotta have higher health, right? Yeah, 0.96 defense. Oh, 
No guts, though. Again. <laughs> Bro, they know that there's a lot of Faust players that would want to try Bedman, and so they just give them both no guts. Come on, bro. You'd be worried if Bed have guts. Well, I mean, if you look at his cracked face, he has like some type of organic material under there. So, like, you know, that's already worry worrying in and of itself. No. I mean, it is a sentient bed, after all, so, you know. The bed is a person. <laughs> uh, yes? <laughs> kind of? It's... <laughs> Mankind knew that they cannot change. Duel one. Let's rock. Mm -hmm. Whoa, that was kind of crazy. Nice. No super to go through the wall, but a really good position here for Chris. Whoa! Really didn't want to hold that. That double overhead's giving him trouble. That's death. <laughs> Dual two. Let's rock. That's the tech. Whatever color your opponent is playing, you pick that color too. That way they lose themselves on screen. <laughs> Yeah, this character's cool. <laughs> like, I feel so sorry for her, because, like, what the hell are you supposed to do in this situation? It gives me real, um, if you ever play Bioshock, like Big Daddy Little Sister vibes. No, I'm asking what Delia is supposed to do. He don't have to take any of the block ship. <laughs> she just walking back and forth looking for a way out. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they Yeah, I wonder I would love to see the statistics on how many heaven or hell. How many Bedman players are also Faust players? I I want to see some statistics on that. 
That number's gotta be high. Meter. Faust versus Melia. Duel one. Let's rock. <laughs> Oh, nice conversion. Meteors. Wow, that's my feet. Dagger hair car. This isn't enough because it super does nothing. Actually, never mind. It was a one hit splat and Faust has no guts. My bad. That's on me, chap. My bad. My bad. <laughs> but bro, sometimes I swear Milia does that super and it heals her opponent. Rare footage of it actually doing damage. Burst. He's on item super gay. Jump it's still there. Unfortunately, I think he did more damage to himself than to Milia there. Mini Faust was walking away. Okay. This is a mix up. Okay, gets the burst out. Next hit wins. Wow, mix, mix, mix from the top of the screen. And another command grab. Okay, all the close flashes in the world in that combo. Mm, that's gonna be it. <laughs> the fucking TikTok player just hates fighting every every character. It's so funny. Ouch. Yeah, a little bit of a miss. Okay, DP immediately. Hmm. Yeah, you have to burst there too because it's a guaranteed command grab if you don't. Okay. You better respect these dolphins, soul. She has type advantage, soul bad guy. Look out. Look out for her water type attack. Oh, this match is violent. Okay, get off of me. Has a bar. Tries to force the situation. Grab the DP. Oh. Okay. The dolphins are flying types. Flying water. Most Pokemon do have two types after all. Ouch. Big damage. It's that soul bad guy damage. He's a bad guy. Just because you are the bad guy doesn't mean you are the bad guy. Hood Ninja with the Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Thank you for the follow as well. Most importantly, guys, 
I've been trying to grow the strive portion of my viewer base on YouTube. Because I've been trying to get these people to watch something other than Dragon Ball Fighters. So if you guys want to sub to my YouTube, I do upload these these tournaments and everything there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just a suggestion that it's free. <laughs> oh no. Not the killer whale. Not the killer whale. Yeah, Bandit Bringer seems to be giving Swermy a big issue right now. We do not discriminate, Animus. We do not discriminate. If you play on stream during the tournament, you're also going on YouTube. It is how it goes. It's the game. <laughs> how it goes. Everyone. <laughs> Alright, need low up two Man, zero. That they cannot Skirmy definitely them. having some trouble with so the aggression here. Reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts, heaven or hell. <laughs> Mendoxena. Saul versus May. Duel one. Let's rock. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that DP was so far away, bro. Oh no. With Bandit Bringer Gold Burst. Where do we go from here? Okay. Ouch. Yeah, it's a wall break. Burmy has a bar though to force the situation. Yep, Dolphin RC. Tried to backdash on round start. Did you not see the Dolphin? Oh no. Didn't respect DPRC. Oof. The meme, just 6p the dolphin. He did it. Duel two. He did it. Let's rock. Nice challenge in between the bandit revolver, but still a scramble. Nice. Oh, didn't run far enough to grab that. Okay, okay. Uh oh. Tap dust. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bust out. That's gonna be. Oh, no, no. Doesn't that meter? But wild throw. Soul bad guy. It's a bad guy. <laughs> to close out our shit. Let you cook? No. Too many cooks in the kitchen. Back up. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. I'm, I'm really numb to downplay at this point because it happens a lot in this game and in Dragon Ball, so it's like... Downplaying to say may have stopped for it. Uh, not really. She's pretty insane. Whoa! <laughs> this joint. Oh my god, 2H. Guys protected. I feel like Happy Chaos and Leo are better. That's not it. That's not a hot take. <laughs> I was I was guessing the third one was Ram. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, it's arguable. Unfortunately, it's like one of those things that the conversations around it will never like be 
great because like fighting game players have this thing Uh, fighting game players have this thing where like they they think that representation is like one to one with uh uh with like strength and so like a lot of people see that may isn't really being played uh, and they're like nah bro like she'll be played more if she's that good right but <laughs> in reality there's a lot of factors that go into what characters get picked and what don't May is better than Happy Chaos. Oh, I mean, that's just incorrect. Like, <laughs> nah, I, I mean, I don't think so. I don't think so. Though I will say, I will say that uh, I've had some conversations with some pretty strong people in Guilty Gear Drive. I'm not going to name drop, but... Um, there were conversations of, of like May potentially being best in the game. They were talking about. It was interesting to hear their perspective on it. I don't think I'm sold on that, but I do think she's really strong. Slash. See Bridget, you root for Bridget. Be like that. Uh, sorry, I looked away for a second. Who won that second game, guys? Uh, Squirmy also Q again. Uh, there was a weird bug going on where someone was queued for two matches at once. Brisket won. That's what's up. We like it when Brisket wins. I do really like this character. Character sick. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is interesting because like you see it you see a lot of people picking Bridget into Nago nowadays as well. Matchup she does pretty well in. But Nago is one of those characters that even if a matchup is quote unquote losing for him, he can always win. He can always win. He's like one of those characters. He can always, always win. <laughs> Leo's another one of those characters. <laughs> the crazy thing is you've seen... I think Br she's like borderline top tier, I think. It's very close. It really depends on how like large your tier is, right? Where the breakpoint is. But once again, like when I have conversations about character strength, to me, what matters is, is the character good enough to win a tournament? Are they good enough to perform well in tournament? I think everyone would agree Bridget is definitely, definitely a yes on that. But yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting. Dual one. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Behind the back. I love those combos. Nice mix. Hey. Mix again. Not enough though. Please do not get counter hit by Naga. Please. <laughs> Alright, 
let me see if uh, I gotta get the top four ready. I don't know if any of them can change with these last matches being played, but let me check. If you play Strive again, you're playing the, the brisket. <laughs> Fair. I don't blame you. Mm. Oh, that's bad news. Hey, hey, hey. Um, no, that, that's not true. He, he's really close, but he'd, he'd, he'd miss it. Uh, if he wins and Hammy loses, though, something could change. But Duel one. Let's rock. All right, sorry. I'm a little behind on the names and everything because I am also resolving an issue while this is going on. <laughs> This is the first time we're seeing now things today. This is now things, yep. This is the individual with that comment on their R code. Now lift him, bro. I have no idea what you're talking about. I think <laughs> when I tell you I don't know what the hell you're talking about, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> like, believe me when I tell you that. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, that's that's like, bro. Listen, I've been a fighting MTO for a while, bro. You see some really degen shit. I'm like, I'm. I don't even bat an eye at that, bro. Like, whatever. <laughs> Whatever, man. It is weird, though. I, I'm not going to say that that's not weird. It is weird to do that. But I'm not going to freak out about it. Whatever. <laughs> what a world, man. <laughs> Hold on. Now it's kind of getting in that ass right now, though. No pun intended. I'm the worst person, bro. Okay. You know, I haven't got to see much of this matchup played, but I know it's probably not that fun for five. Do you have any TO stories about that kind of stuff? Oh, bro, you don't even know, bro. <laughs> you don't even know. Before before I was TOing uh, traditional fighting games, I was also a melee TO. I well, still am. And so like I have stories from those events too. Like it, it's all crazy shit, honestly. But you know, it'd be like that. Not, it's not as unfortunate as you think. <laughs> if, you, if you knew the people that, that were causing problems, you'd probably be pretty. <laughs> oh my god, man. Oof. What a day. What a day. Alright, now things wanted this run back. And gets, a, gets the first game as well. You can't get it. Me when I lie. Listen, bro. I literally run majors Duel for melee. One. And ultimate for that matter. Because they're all the same majors at the end of the day. And, um, yeah. No, there's... I mean, it's same with fighting games as well. Like, there's equal amounts of weird people in all three. It's honestly... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
That's why I think it's so funny when people try to play this like holier than thou. Like, we're not like them. It's like, no, you guys are really all the same. Like, <laughs> trust me. How many people came that tournament and I got hoodies? That's actually happened more in FTC events than Smash events, actually. It, it's actually really common in FTC events. Like, at Crossies, I saw a lot. <laughs> like, a lot. I was like, oh. Okay. <laughs> there was one dude that had a blanket. It wasn't even a hoodie. It was a blanket. He was wearing it like a cape, bro. I was like, alright, bro. Like, shit. Why? This is insane, bro. <laughs> Oof. You get stagger flick. Oh, you missed his spot buster, I think. That's blocked. He grabbed though. Uh oh. Has a bar too? But back throw incident. Oh my god, back throw from Potemkin hurts. But <laughs> he kicked you, bro. That was so disrespectful. Why you kick your carcass like that? <laughs> oh god. You get burst baited by Potemkin, bro. Good luck winning the round. We'll see though. Now needs a knockdown. There it is. Elysium Driver. It hurts. The Agubis has a bar though. Yeah, he's gonna force the situation. 2H. He missed it because he canceled in the heat knuckle. Oh, it doesn't confirm. It just misses, I think. Yeah, that's so unfortunate. Now things. Oh, we tried to one button confirm, but it didn't confirm the way it wanted to. Tied up at 1 1. <laughs> no! <laughs> Insanity. Just keep Mega Fisting, it'll work eventually. I mean, like, you know. <laughs> to be fair, it is Potemkin. It doesn't have that many things, you know. I mean, I'm honestly, like, he has stuff, but it's just. It's, it's hard, man. It's really hard for Potemkin in this game, for sure. Pretty tough. But the matchups he wins, he wins really hard, I think. Oh, he didn't get it. Okay. Nice. Mix time. All right, you need about four or five of those to kill a Potemkin. Back throw. Ass. <laughs> it really be like that. Bro, the the amount that Jump Dust gets used on this character is actually crazy. It's such a, such a crazy trajectory mix up. You don't expect this big of a character to just plop down out of the air like that. You want a lethal ass? You better start doing some squats, young lady. Night. Uh um. Uh, hi, Dahlia. How's it going? 
you have a question what's the girl guy to girl ratio like in the FTC it's definitely very dominantly male uh, but there are there are a decent amount of women uh, it's just like there are there are many that would like to be in the community but you know feel some type of way which is reasonable uh, but if you look there are sub communities uh, and they're there they're not invisible it, yeah, it also definitely depends on on your game as well. Uh, that's definitely a fact. Yeah. yeah, that that is definitely true. They're there. Hopefully, you can bring those numbers up. My community actually has a um, a decent amount of women actually. So. Welcome. <laughs> you think Tekken has the most women-friendly community in the FTC? That's like pretty fair. That, that that's pretty fair. I mean, I really think like, uh, like the existence of 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 uh really big names like Kayane and Cuddlecore, you know, like that that makes them feel like they have an identity and they have a voice, and I think that matters a lot. Right? I think that like matters a ton. So, you know, that can change a lot for sure. You're surprised that Jacko is in 6 p -ing. I I don't know what <laughs> now it's fighting for his life. <laughs> oh no! Oh, it wasn't a punish though. Uh, oh my God, bro! <laughs> Fight back! Fight back! <laughs> oh my god! Oof. Okay. Okay. Survive now! No! Mega Fist! Diego Vis. 3, 1. Alright, mix time. Oh, JS. Counter hits. Splat, winger. Definitely not a ton of damage, but does get the hard knockdown. Less shaker. Kind of just harassing outside of the range with that. But this is Ram after all. One hit, and suddenly Milia will be fighting for her life. joined two months ago wait the tournament i was talking about the tournament in particular are you talking about like ftc in general you gotta find the right people to be around there are definitely some assholes for sure but there are good ones oh okay Pressure. Pressure. How are you going to get out? That risk is cranked. This is only the first round as well. Back throw incident. What's it going to be? Mirage trade into 2P by the skin of his teeth. Hammy takes the first round. Okay, mix time. Oh, a little bit of mix there. One at close slash, I think. Oh, gets a close slash on the other side. This is a horrible position to be in. Trying to <laughs> jump and air dash his way out of the corner because nobody wants to be in the corner against Ramlethal. Mix. Game one to Hammy. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, that wasn't even that wasn't even your original username either. <laughs> it was it was Toasted Bums at first. Maybe maybe Greasy will recognize that name. Sponge Boy, me Bob. It'd be like Duel One. Let's rock. Yeah, name changes be mixing people, bro. <laughs> They do be like that. Uh oh. Oh no. Ate the S tandem. Not death, but. Yes, Ivan. Please. <laughs> Keep it together, man. <laughs> I, I kind of expected him to say something like that after realizing, but... <laughs> It'd be like that. Pretty good life lead here from Rez. No meter on Hammy's side either, so I have to get a clean hit. And that is tough to do in this position. Okay, there's the clean hit, though. Why are C's on the tip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 okay, a uh, triple wire C? No, just gonna force the issue. It seems like Reds likes to let the records rock, even on whiff. Not sure what he's looking for there. Oh, the third one actually made contact. I think Hammy didn't expect him to let the third one rock there because he didn't have meter to RC afterwards, but that third record. Still came out. Corner pressure, yep, caught you. Trying to jump. Tried to burst bait, but good discipline on Hammy's end not to burst immediately. But now you're behind so much against Ram, and this is so tough for Milia, and that's just death. We're tied up. What does it mean when someone says a certain character isn't a tournament character? Um, well, I mean, technically, that could be a few different things that they mean when they say that. Um, some people mean that you can't solo main the character in tournament reliably. Um, meaning that you would have to have, like, a really strong secondary in order to cover bad matchups. Um, some people use it to refer to characters that, like, have really, really high execution. Uh, really high execution floor, and so, like, in tournament environment with pressure, you're likely to, like, drop a lot of the important stuff. Um, and some people just mean the character just doesn't win tournaments. And so if, if, you're, <laughs> if, you're, if you're talking about Ram, uh, it's definitely the third of those options. Because Ram, don't let them fool you. Ram is a tournament character. She just doesn't win tournaments. But that's not because of the character. <laughs> it's just the players that are playing Ram are not good enough. Um, and they're great players. They just haven't broken that upper echelon yet. Though uh, Tempest, Tempest who wins a decent amount of tournaments, does have a Ram secondary that pulls out every now and then. But, but really, that's what it comes down to. A lot of the time in fighting games, you know, the, the people that are the best at the fighting game are just going to win. Most of the time, character doesn't really play that big of a factor at that high of a level. Not to that extent. Obviously, there are counter picks and whatnot, but like, no one, no one picks up a character that is strong and just wins a tournament by accident. Like, that's not, that's like, <laughs> that's not a. <laughs> that doesn't happen. Like, oops, I won Evo. Uh, yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't happen. <laughs> Okay. 
Wow. Shout out to Thor Throw. With a perfect. Yeah, Xando did. That's true. That's true. It's just not as common as you think that would be, you know? For how strong we know the character has been the entire time. But yeah, there's it, like a lot of factors that go into who wins the tournament and who doesn't as well. So it's, you know. Duel one. Let's rock. That's also recent, Zephyr. Like that just, that, I mean, that that was. Oh, no, no, you're talking about last year's mix up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. But, you know, what a lot of people will say is like, you know, it doesn't count because it's not international, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I don't listen to people like that, but that's how they'll discount it. Dendo's amazing, though. He's incredible. Uh, how May is super strong, but May only won like one event and got second in the Evo. Yeah, yeah. And also, May is not represented at like all. Like, there's like exactly one top May. And like, like Corey's close, but like not quite there. But really, like, Slash is like kind of carry, you know? I was surprised to, to, to not see uh, Tempest mess around with May again. She's so good this time. You feel like Corey has to prove it at a major? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, he, he just hasn't proven it yet. Uh, and, you know, he, he's great, but, like, you know, uh, the crazy part about this game is that there's a lot of really great players. <laughs> like, a lot of really great players. It's crazy. The talent pool for this game is absurd. All right, Hammy, how are you going to close this out? Uh-oh. Are you gonna burn burst? Out of fear? Are you, you're actually dead here, well. Yeah. Decided to save the burst. It is hard to burst the ram combos. And just like that, rest on set point here. What was May like on release? Really fucking good. You thought Thor was the big character? Oh, he was. But May was definitely really good. So, May was top three on release. Uh, well, like, probably, probably like four, third or fourth, probably. It was like Soul, it was Soul Nago, May Ram was like, and then like Leo was like kind of in there too. Like, but like your order would vary from person to person depending on who you talk to. But she was definitely like really, really strong. Uh, people usually discounted Nago pre-release. Like, I think people didn't speak highly of Nago in like the beta and stuff. Double KO! Yo! Okay. Okay. I. Let's tune in. Hold on. Well, we got a final round situation. We got it. We got to Hey, hey, lock in, lock in, chat. All right, record knockdown. What's gonna happen? Okay, get the fuck out of there. I respect it. Danger, though. Burst comes out. And Rezzy does not have a burst. Might not even build one. Depending on the hits that he takes. Oh, nice counter poke. I like that. Goes low. Into another mix. Set it up again. Uh, Rezzy's gonna build that burst, I think. At the last second. Yeah, he's gonna have it post wall break. Oh! From the top rope! Looking for it. There's the burst. Sword throw comes out. Uh oh. This is ram time. She has a bar. Tap dust. Into the sword explosion. It's not enough. And Hammy has RC on round start if he wants to. Holds it though. PRC. JH trade. Almost a double K situation again. The throw. It's a game five situation. It's a game five situation. Insanity.
Double KO, man. How often do we get those? Is it... Can you double KO in the final round? That's what happened there. It was round three. They double KO'd and it made them play the match over. Now, Guilty Gear is actually a really... It's a really messed up game when it comes to double KOs. <laughs> you didn't get to witness it there because it did the right thing. It just made them replay the match. But... Um, if there's a situation where someone is a round up on the other, then the the person that was behind just gets a free round. It'll go to 1-1 one, one instead of <laughs> instead of just replaying the round, which is kind of messed up. I don't know why they do it that way. <laughs> I don't understand why it's like that, but every every fighting game should just make people uh the the round just should just be replayed anytime there's a double KO. Or a draw, for that matter. Because not all draws are double KOs. And don't you forget it, chat. Almost got reverse 3-0 and turned into that. It's, it's pretty messed up. It's <laughs> Even playing the whole setback is better than just giving a free round to the person that was losing. Like, <laughs> uh oh, let's all super, got her, and death. Dual two, let's rock. All right, Red, you gotta, gotta play from behind here. No burst available either, so these mixes, you're gonna have to hold them. He doesn't have a bar for Bust Out Super either. Mix again. Finally has that bar. Coming up on burst here soon as well. Six B. Oh, 2K RC. That is the I really want to win. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wasn't enough advantage to confirm on that. This is actually dangerous. Two bars on Ram's side. You can definitely kill here off of a solid hit, but that's just going to be it. Run up 6P. RC. Hammy will take the set. Melia wins. Duel 1. Let's run. Hi, we are back. It is winner's finals. We have Potemkin in a winner's finals. Something that you guys probably aren't used to seeing. And earlier I was talking about how, you know, it's tough for Potemkin in the game currently. But the matchups he wins, he wins pretty hard. This happens to be one of those matchups that he's considered to win. Very, very hard for Milia, who has to hit him so many times. And the Temkin off a hit is just absolutely brutal. You don't believe me? Ask LK. <laughs> oh. Wow. That was pretty crazy. Oh, he still got hit by it. Wow. The active frames. And Hammy knows if he gets knocked down by this Potemkin, it's going to be bad news. Even with this much of a health deficit. This should kill, though. Weather the storm for round one. Duel two. Let's rock. Okay. Yep, nice block. JS is doing work right now. Mix. Nice IB from Diegubas, but didn't do anything with it. Wow, JS is beating out Hammerfall like that. We're definitely seeing a lot of reliance on JS right now. That's the money button for Hammy at the moment. Gold burst off the mark. Uh-oh, this is problems. Exactly what I was talking about. Uh-oh. You gotta be careful, Hammy. 
Oh, he gets air thrown into Garuda Impact. Like I said, bro, Potemkin in this matchup, off of one hit, the whole round can just go up in flames. Yeah, actually, Mega Fisted out of there. But oh my god, hits her airborne. And he's avoiding slide head well, but like I said, you just have to play so perfect. Diego is trying to mix up his movement, trying to chase down some of his backward movement. Trying to cut off some of those angles of approach. Oh my god. Oh yeah, you have to have to burst that. Heat knuckle into the knockdown. Not looking good. Tried to chase the backdash there. Didn't get it. Danger for Hammy. Negative penalty would not be a good look. He's coming up on a bar here, but he gets hit at the last minute. Garuda impact. Oh, gold burst. He actually gets the meter. The backdash. Oh, he grabs him into it. Is it a combo? It is. Diegubis. Is that death? It is. Game one. The awareness of how to combo off of Giganter Kai. He just knew. He just knew. That's the decision making of someone that has been in that situation many times before. <laughs> Just checked with two feet. Just to see if you were wiggling. He was. Was wiggling. Night. Oh, scary stuff. Oh, you got young. Almost died off of that, by the way. Five P off the backdash. That—that's what I'm saying, man. And, and, and the crazy thing is, is that like all of Potemkin's anti-air options, bro, will absolutely annihilate Milia if they make contact. Heat Knuckle, Two H, Heavenly Potemkin Buster. All of them are really bad news. <laughs> Even if you get thick speed, that's a guaranteed Heat Knuckle. Like you do not want to get anti-aired by this character. Oh, the reset. He thought it was a combo, but it wasn't. He just dies. Straight up off the reset for Temkin Buster. Game two, DA Gubis just rolling. And that matchup coming into play so much. I'd be giving a little bit of thought. Oh, okay. And we have a counter pick. Goes to the Bridget. Has some levels on it, so... 
definitely looks like it's at least practiced a little bit, but will it be enough to win three games straight at this point? We'll have to see. Hammy is just a fan of blonde haired mix up monsters. Uh oh. This is bad. At least you have a DP to, like, at least try to defend. Of course, won't do anything against Midi Grab. Potemkin does have the biggest grab of them all, but there is a lot of other stuff that you can potentially challenge with it. Wow, just <laughs> Mega Fist her yo yo, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a splat. Are we gonna super for this? We do. Yeah, Goob is coming up on a bar. If he defends, he might be able to make something happen. He has a bar. YRC, it's a guest, and you're dead. Plus 10 situation off of YRC, you just guess. Against Potemkin, five frame. <laughs> five frame command grab. Tank, it's a knockdown. Oh, and it grabs the DP. I heard it come out. The RC combo was looking for burst. Doesn't give it to him. Riding is looking to be on the wall here. DA Gubis, such a huge life lead and burst to his name. All right, Hammy with a nice mix, but gets bursted into the corner. What's it going to be? Hammerfall, multi hits get through. Two bars available for Hammy here. And the. <laughs> The Corvette Buster, as we call it around here, coined by Kid Boomer himself. It's so fast. It goes so far. It is so hard to react to. If he can stand up against Resonate and his Ramlethal. We're starting off aggressive. And I don't blame him. You don't want to give Jacko time to get that, that obstacle course started. You got to get in there, and you got to get in there quick. Okay. Side note. This is a little off topic. But did you guys see that guy get clowned about uh, clowned for talking about Kai on, on Twitter recently? That shit was pure comedy, bro. I can't lie. Hot head in grand finals, you don't believe it, you might shed a tear. I mean, like, honestly, it's just returning to our roots, you know? Let's Rock as a tournament started off with Potemkin getting grand finals, and here we are again with Potemkin getting grand finals. We miss you, Kid Boomer. We miss you. Wherever you are, we miss you, bro. <laughs> Yeah, those are, those are guy, this guy who goes on Twitter and like continually downplays Kai, and you know, when when people pressed him, they were like, "Are you?" <laughs> they were like, "Are you even celestial?" And he was like, "I'm, I'm celestial in mindset, but not in game." <laughs> Kai holds me back, and he, bro, they they are clowning him, bro. They are clowning him. <laughs> They're clouding him, bro. <laughs> Duel one. Let's rock. It'd be like that. I just, uh, you know, it, it's crazy because, like, it's not even like it would be one thing if people were like that if they played a character that was not considered strong and also there isn't representation then i can see how you can feel lost in that regard but like kai has like really strong players that are actually doing very well in tournaments and so like i just don't know i don't really know i don't think <laughs> i don't really know what to say to that one hmm elysium Daiva. Dual two. Let's rock. 
Now things answer him back. You're not trying to get rolled. But sometimes Ram just rolls you. Look at this. Calvados. You died. Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Your life points are depleted. Okay. Two hit confirm. This shit kill. Yes. Nice. Now things. Perfect into perfect. <laughs> we stand at 1 1. This is a, a high velocity match. This is way faster paced than I thought it would be. These two are really just like swinging at each other. Bro, everyone has this bedman, <laughs> this bedman outfit on the lofty avatar. <laughs> it's so funny to look at. You know, I perfect you, you perfect me. You know, life goes on. Life goes on, man. Okay. Oh, that, bro, that 2D is criminal. Alright, Rez is in. Has bar. Gonna force the situation. Oh, wow. Jump over, tap dust on the other side. That might have been a missed input. Kind of seemed like it was a missed input. Oh, either that or the most creative mix up ever. But I gotta believe if he was going for that on purpose, there would have been an RC afterwards to combo. You know, I'm, I'm sorry about this. I'm sorry about this, Hammy. But there were two things that came to mind when I first saw your name. One, I thought that you were Hamilton Rye, which was a really strong soul player that, that used to play it. I don't know if he plays anymore. The second thing was the the squirrel from Over the Hedge. <laughs> I don't know if that's where you got your name, but <laughs> that's what came to mind. That movie's so, that movie's so gas, bro. Underrated animated movie. <laughs> I just, I had to come clean. I had to be honest. You know Hamilton, right? Oh, okay. All right, Rez going up 2-1. Looking pretty strong, but now we'll, now things answer back again. We saw it last time. Put together another game to force the game five. <laughs> Hamtaro. I see you've been going through it. <laughs> I see. Oh wow, Tap doesn't even make contact. Off to the races now, things is. Hasn't taken a hit yet. BRC Ford gets grabbed though. This could be problematic. Gets a bar because of positive bonus. But chooses to burst. Uh oh, I think he's actionable here. Can jump? No, Fred committed to something. Get super. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, hey. Okay. Mmm, yeah, more to Tabato. We're not even gonna waste any time. And just like that, Reds on step point. One round away from going to losers finals and that top three placement. IB, but tried to grab it. The back dash got away. That's such a bad break for now things. High burst, but gonna have so little life at the end of this. Gold burst though, hold on. Gets the meter. Potentially get something done. 2D, RC. It begins, YRC. Tried to grab, doesn't get it. The JH hits on the other side. 6P, very nice. Mix time. Lands. Another. Pressure. Tap does. It's not enough. Ram will be free to wiggle after this wall break. Almost a next hit win situation, but now playing with meter. And Rez doesn't have the bar yet. Tap Dust again, the third time in a row. We've seen Tap Dust work in game five. Yet again. Okay, oh! Hey, hey, hey. Hmm. Okay, Rez both have a bar, so let's see how they defend it. BRC forward. Actually, anti or the JH. Wow. Rare sight. Oh, yeah, that RC. Caught her clapping. And again, Rez on that set point again. Can he close it out? Has burst. To DRC. Mix up. Nice block, but try to challenge afterwards with that 5P. That counter hit for it. And Rez is trying to force his way in. And just like that, we're on the last round of the last game, ladies and gentlemen. What's it gonna be? No burst on either side to start this round. That first opening is gonna mean a lot. Close slash doesn't confirm. Because he didn't have his sword. That may cost Reds everything. Okay, BRC bat. I like it, but gets tripped up by 2D. And now you have to block Jacko stuff. Tap dust again. Burst comes out. With punish. A bar on now side. Has it available. Oh, this is getting scary. Life is almost even. Stagger kick hits. It's not enough. Now it's probably gonna build a burst. Maybe he might die. Oh, but the 2K2D is gonna close it out. Now things with a 3-2. We'll go to losers finals. Rez will exit the tournament at fourth place, but what a fantastic showing from Rez's first Let's Rock. Very, very entertaining set from both of these players. Duel one. Let's rock. That's understandable. That's understandable, dear Jiva. It's a hard world out there for a potential main man. I know I'll go. Perfect. And a perfect to start things off. There are a lot of perfects <laughs> in our ladder today. Whoa. 
Whoa! Scary stuff. And those stagger strings. Catching that backwards movement from now. Trying to backdash, but it's tough. Okay, good block. Okay, knockdown time. Okay, watch your legs. Okay, gets the grab. Tap does. That's been hitting everyone today. No Elysium driver. That would have killed. Okay, but gets the BRC for it. Closed out the round. Could have been scary for now. Oh, nice burst bait. Yeah, close slash from Milia. So good for that situation. I think it's the splat. Decides to run another mix up with Wall Thump, but drops it. Now has a bar. Could potentially YRC here, but Bad Moon coming out. Are you going to get a chance to play this round? Is what we are asking. Trying to find a way out and save that bar so you can get something started. Finally escapes, but look at your life deficit. Cannot make any mistakes here for now. Okay. That's how it starts. Empty low. Uh-oh. That counter hit could have been big, but Hammy had burst. Now has a bar. If he gets a big counter hit, we could be looking at something here. Backdash caught. It's starting to stack up. It's not death. Next hit win situation. Now has a bar. PRC, PRC to catch the backdash. Right in the nick of time. Now brings it all the way back with that huge life deficit to take game one. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just saying, your friends and family should be watching this tournament every week. Do y'all not see the matches that we've had today? Crazy. <laughs>
BRC. Yep. I like that. Have the minions to back you up. But gold burst. Okay. Your oh, but it goes right to the gold burst of now. This is insanity. Pure chaos here. And let's rock tonight. Oh, yes, Melia wins. But Hammy will tie it up one to one. <laughs> Sheesh. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of ref Duel one. Okay. Let's rock. <laughs> okay. Mixed up. She's not to break the wall. We got slumps. Can't slump from that high though. I have to break the wall. But just like that, 2k2d. Now the party has started. Even if Nao can get Hammy's burst this round, that would be a win in my opinion. And this is huge damage. You gotta be careful. Okay. Gets the punish. That was actually a really scary situation <laughs> for Hammy. Dual two. Let's rock. Milia definitely bleeds. Cannot afford to take these huge damage combos that come out when Jacko has the minions in the right position. Okay, actually whiffs on the bad moon. No punish though. Yeah, unfortunately that that the up minion, the kick that she's doing to send the minion high, doesn't seem to be like going at the right trajectory to really interfere with Milia's jump arts. The the minion throw seems like it's more well suited for it, but now now it's still trying, trying to find an answer. Oh, hit her airborne. A mix up BRC. Still gets hit though. So Hammy will go up 2 1. Melia. Wait, uh, oh, ah, Strive's doing the Strive thing, huh? All right, well, you know, it's <laughs> sometimes it'd be like that. Give him, give him a, give him some time to get back in here. Once again, you know, all we can do is hope that they fix the issue sometime in the near future. It would be a real shame if season three of DLC started releasing and things were still like this. Interesting. Apparently there's new uh, Xenoblade Chronicles uh, content.
Uh, okay, if it doesn't if it doesn't let you connect again, I'll just I can try remaking the room. Just let me know. We alive? It appears we're alive. Okay. Guilty Gear Strive. <laughs> Alright, continuing on. We're at 2 1 for him. Now got a little bit of extra time to think about maybe what he needs to do to climb back into the set. Will it be enough, though? Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts. Heaven or hell. Why did she do that? Melia versus Jacko. Jacko. Duel one. Let's rock. Okay, 6P. And the mix has begun. Okay. It's out of the corner. That's the big thing there. Oh, yeah, that tapped us again, man. Almost gets thrown, but not quite. By the falling JS, this could be bad. 
And now, now it's a very good defense on that, actually. Definitely has seen it enough times to be able to defend. The people love Turbo Fall and all, but might have to might have to add some new layers to it to make it a little bit more potent. And the great thing about this, Tammy has another bar as well. Uh oh, it gets grabbed. YRC potentially. Yep. Okay, burst. Don't want to deal with any of that. A little bit of a hero burst from now, but probably figuring gonna build a burst next round anyway. Oh wow, just a straight up counter hit. Straight up on the anti-air. Can he get the burst from Hammy? That would be huge going into this third round. Hammy's a little greedy on it though. Okay, does bend it. Okay, so now loses the round. Also, that freeze frame is hilarious. <laughs> but now got the burst, meaning that Hammy likely won't build a burst for the rest of this game. One way or another. Still needs more time. Half on burst recovery. Whoa, super dash. <laughs> okay, counter poke. This is where it starts. Finally, now gets the play. The mixes are starting to land. Okay. Oh, that stagger. Almost caught Hammy slipping. This is dangerous territory. Minion hits. Gets the 2k 2d, it's not enough, S tandem, but the far slash at the very end. Melia wins. And Melia. Duel one. Let's rock. Wall break early. First interaction, going through the wall. Slide head hits though. And this is where things become problematic because as Milia, whether you take strike or throw, it's all bad news. And so you might try to take something, you know, a little bit a little bit riskier like backdash, which is also pain if Potemkin does call it out. Trade on jump dust. Tried to get a conversion there, but didn't work out. Okay, fast RC. Okay, YRC. Oh, that, that IB was sick. I cannot lie. And now you're in a horrible situation. This is a guess. Trying to make him uncomfortable with that walk forward before the string. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just a wall of huge, very damaging buttons. Round one to Diagubis. Hmm. Temkin Buster, 50% life gone in a in a flash. Guess it is throw, and that's really all it takes. Two Potemkin Busters, you're just dead. Now we saw last set Hammy pull out the Bridget at the end. It didn't in the end get it done, but I gotta wonder if it's considering it here. It did only get to play one game. Oh, we get the bike in, okay. We have not seen this from Hammy this tournament. So bike in it is, okay, okay. Duel one. Let's rock. Okay, yep, trying to keep Demkin in check with that. Oh, yeah, that, ooh, that was like the last few frames of that button that made contact. Okay, super. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's looking pretty solid right now. Hemi gonna get this first round clean. Two. 
So now Diegubis has to adjust. New character, new set of challenges. How can he adjust his game plan for now a Biken? It's not a Milia, it's not a Bridget, but it's a Biken. Nice. 6P confirmation. Mmm. Ah, it's her. Oh, yeah, I think he missed Kara for Mega Fist, I think, is what happened there. Oh, my God. Slick. Bro, that move is so toxic, bro. I love it. I love how toxic that move is. Bad news, armor's through. Has the bar. Yeah, yeah, backdash BRC. Oh, back throw incident though. Another? Oh, he burst. He didn't want to take the mix up afterwards. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. But unfortunately, Diagubis was ready. I can't blame anyone for not wanting to take that mix up in that situation. But man, Diegoob is just making it look so difficult. Okay, we get Testament this time. All right. Just rotating through the characters, trying to see if we can get something to work. Duel one. Let's rock. <laughs> Oh, Corvette. <laughs> Bro, that is the definition of life comes at you quick. <laughs> Austin with the 18 months. That's a sub badge upgrade. Thank you so much. As Hammy takes another Potemkin Buster and Diego is on tournament point. Are you dead? Gigantor Kai? Are you just dead? Okay, it was close, it was close. Holy. That is terrifying. Oh, and the flick. With the perfect. Dia Gubis is your new Let's Rock champion. Potemkin. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <You're playing. laughs> 